What is going on guys? And in today's video, I'm gonna break down the front to back process of how I edit my client videos. Guys, this is one of the videos that did the best on my channel, which is part two. Now, this is going to be a complete new series because now I'm teaching you the ultimate sauce on how I speed up my workflow now. Now I can edit videos and crank them out just like that. So that's what we're gonna work on in today's video in DaVinci Resolve, of course. And if you guys are new here, my name is Ryan. I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve with my preset packs, which you can check in the first link in the description. This is going to streamline your workflow and literally make it to where you can edit real in five seconds, just like that, under five minutes. So guys, if you want to speed up your workflow, then check out the first link in the description, please. It also supports me. But anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit client videos right now. Let's get it. All right, guys, so now we're in here in the DaVinci Resolve studio. And guys, most of these things you're gonna be able to do with the free version, but we're gonna get straight into this by just dragging and dropping on like one of the power grades I have. Um, and then obviously you can see that this is super yellow. So we're just gonna come to the temperature and just bring this back to normal. Um, and then if we want, we can come over here and slap my LUD on it, which is in the first link in the description, which is those assets I was just talking about. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how fast I can uh, do this video. So first things first, now we just need to cut it up. Now this is the boring part. So you guys don't really necessarily need to watch this part, but if you are curious as to how I do it, um, this is what I do. So I cut it and then I hit shift delete right when she starts. So. I'm saving money by buying the least expensive bread. I have a big family, so I had this mental thing of like, like, okay, I can save money. And then we're gonna cut it there. I just, just yeah. And then cut out the gaps, just like that. So now I'm gonna get this process done and I'll come back to you guys. So this reel is totaling to around 34 seconds. Now guys, I only did one cut here because she was pretty good at talking throughout the whole part. So all we're gonna do here is simply come to the audio and then toggle on this voice isolation. Cause you, she's, just, the, there's- I just buy the cheap stuff like There's so much noise coming on. Like, look at this difference. Okay, I can save money. I just buy the cheap stuff. So like, there's, the that's a big difference right there. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on for the beginning as well. Um, and then I'm gonna come up to playback and go to timeline resolution and head to quarter um, because this is I'm going to reduce the quality, but it's going to also save me um, my time by making my computer faster. Saving money by buying the... So with this hook, I literally made five preset hooks. I partnered with someone and we made five preset hooks um, literally to streamline your workflow. And so basically how I'm, what, what, what I'm gonna do here basically is uh, just copy these hooks in here just to make my time faster. So this one right here, obviously, we're just gonna slap this in the beginning, and then you could see I'm here, saving money. boom, just like that. If we turn back this full, you could see how crispy these captions are. Um, and this is actually my brand new pack called the Motion Text Effect Pack. But anyways, so I'm you know, she says I'm money. saving. So I'm gonna do um, and then we're gonna do in quotes saving, just like that capitalize the S just like that. So I'm saving money. I'm saving. And then we're going to bring this up and then we're going to hold option and scroll up with the, uh, the same exact text. So this one money. And then we're going to do money this time. And we're going to bring this one down like this and pull it like right there maybe. And then I'm just going to change the color on this. So in my packet, it makes it really easy to change the color. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, you just come here. And then we're just gonna change that effect to the money effect that we want. So now if we toggle this back on. I'm saving money by, by, by. And then I am simply going to add quotations to the money as well. This is going to add to the hook. Um, so now this is the hook. I'm saving money by buying the least expensive bread. I have, have a big, I have least expensive. So now that you guys get the gist of how the captions look, I'm gonna go back. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back into my timeline resolution and hit quarter. So it's expensive, right? I have. Right. So it looks right. like right there. It already. Um, it literally just. Uh, it's perfect length, basically. I'm so. saving money by buying. I have a big family, so I had this mental thing of like, okay, I can. So for this sake, I'm not gonna show her family, but I would do a B-roll footage of like her family right here. Um, but in this sake, um, <clears throat> we're just gonna do something a little different. So basically 
Now all you have to do is come to, so like you have 25 animations, but I'm not gonna use those for this specific time right here. So, so now I'm gonna come and grab a text plus, and I'm gonna put this on the rest of the video, and I'm gonna simply probably do Helvetica. Actually, yeah, you gotta change the font and go to Helvetica. Um, I like noon and I like the bold. So something like I this. And then we're going to size it up and we're gonna do I, it's a little too big. So like something like that. And, yeah. and then we're going to now change it every time she says something. And we'll actually probably just do A. And then we'll do big family. Family. So, so. so then she says, so. So I had this metal thing up, so I. And then she says, I, make sure you're capitalizing that I. I, I had, had really simple captions here. I just, just. So then she says this. Mental. Boom. Thing. Thing of what? Of what? Like. Like. Go. Oh, I go. Okay, I. I can. I go. Okay. Yeah. I can. So now she says, I can save. So this is like an important like, part of the video. Yeah. So this is what we have I'm so far. I'm saving money by buying the least expensive bread. I have a big family. So I had this metal thing of, of like, okay, I can sit, I can sit. So then now we're gonna come in and grab one of the other presets. And I'm gonna grab this. Boom, slap this on there, right there. So we'll do, uh, I can. And then actually it starts right here. So we're just gonna grab all of these, bring it over like this. So I can I save. Can save. Money than money. So now, all we have to do with the pack is sometimes you just have to adjust the stuff. So right here, I'll probably just bring this one like over here. And then money can just come over here like that. Now, if we literally full frame this, you can see exactly how this is gonna look. So can save money. And then we're gonna cut all of that right there. Just like that. And what I'm gonna do here is I have this uh, plugin called Magic Zoom. I'm just gonna slap this one on instead because it looks a lot better, so. Like, okay, I can save money. And then I'm gonna cut that there. You saw that little zoom right there. And then we're just gonna do uh, zoom and hold. And then we're gonna grab one of my vert transitions in, in my pack bundle. We're gonna hit add, and you can really use any transition you want as well. And then we're just going to slap this paper uh, preset, uh, not paper preset, sorry. Paper, um, paper sound effect, I'm tripping. Okay, turn that down by a lot. And then I'm gonna create these as a compound clip. And then, so I can move all this stuff down so it's not so cluttery. So now we have okay, something like this. Okay, I can this. save money, I just buy so now money, I just buy the cheap stuff. Like I'm not going to buy the more expensive thing. Me, I just buy the cheap stuff. So for, for moving forward, we can literally just use like the AI tools and create subtitles from audio. So I'm saving money by buying the least expensive bread. I have a big family. So I had this metal thing of like, okay, I can save money. I just buy. And what we could do here is if you do end up having like B-roll of your client, you can go ahead and apply that B-roll right there. So I'm, I'm debating on if I wanna use this or not, but basically I'm thinking what I can do here is have this hero shot. Now this is the one I shot. You could tell the major difference in the lighting and everything. Basically we have this cool shot right here. I really like this one. 
I'm gonna remove the audio from these just like this. You have her coming in like this. And so I think it'd be a good idea to put that like right here. So I'm thinking we could do something like this. Save money, I just buy the cheap stuff. Like I'm not gonna buy the more expensive thing. We're gonna add another um, uh, font effect right here. So I'm thinking we add this one on top of this footage right here, just because I think it's gonna add to the actual part of the video. So like, we'll add it right here. So we'll do a little something like, I just buy, buy, buy just, cheap question mark and then and we'll play this like through and then actually i'll probably just delete this because i don't like that right there but since she is kind of like all the way down here i'm thinking what we can do is size this down right here size this one down like that and then pull that one right there so now we have something Money? like this i just buy the cheap stuff i just buy the cheap stuff like so with the pack you can also just Pull this in, it's where it like fades in like that. I just buy the cheap stuff. Like I'm, and then we'll go ahead and slap captions. So this is what we have. So I'm far. saving money by buying the least expensive bread. I have have a big family, so I had this middle thing of like, hey, I can save money. I just buy the cheap stuff. Like I'm not gonna buy buy the more stuff. stuff. Like I'm not. And guys, to be clear, if you guys don't have the pack, this is all so easy. Like you could literally come here slap on a text plus like this and go ahead and add in the font that you want to use and then i'm going to do cheap with like a question mark or something. we're going to size this up like this put it right there and if you want that blur that i have it's pretty simple you just hit shift space for a gaussian blur just like this and then we're going to turn it down just a little bit and we're gonna add a circle node and we're gonna put that sucker right there by turning up the soft edge, just like that. Now, if we play this through, you could see that we clearly have that effect, so. I just buy the. And then obviously, if you want that, um, that effect where it's kind of just pouring up, um, it's pretty simple. You just animate this down like this. Go to, go to frame 20, 0.5, apply on the motion blur, come to the spline, and then we're gonna hit Command A, left click, go to Ease, and then Out Cubic. Ease, Out Cubic. That was a mistake. So now we have that. So if we place through, I just buy the cheap, cheap. So. And then we're just gonna go stuff, and then we'll just turn off. We're told we'll turn on caps. Stop it! Stop! Stop it! And then we'll go ahead and continue to. Then for here, we're gonna cut that. So now we have something like this. I just like buy this. the cheap stuff. Like I'm not gonna buy the more expensive. The more, and then if we want, we can take this one, throw this one on there as well. Buy the more, or And then we'll actually delete this one. For this one, we're gonna come in here to the template. And we're gonna size this down like that. So now we have expensive. For this one, we're going to simply change this down like this and then change this one's layout down like that. This one could probably come down even a little more like right there. And then this one can come up like that. So now we I'm play this to the more expensive thing. But like, dude, that is so fire. My client is literally going to be literally, my client's literally going to be drooling all over the place. Like, look at this. I just buy the cheap stuff. Like, I'm not going to buy the more expensive thing. Like, like, that's so fire. I just buy the cheap stuff. Like, I'm not going to buy the more expensive thing. Like, that's so fire, bro. I just buy the cheap stuff. Like, I'm not going to buy the more expensive thing. Like, 
So guys, um, for the most part, they just really want the hooks done. So for the rest of the video, where we might just honestly do captions, to be honest. Um, so making money by buying the least least expensive bread. I have a big family, so I had this mental thing of like, okay, I can save money by just buying the cheap stuff. Like I'm not gonna buy the more expensive thing. But that is pretty much how you were able to edit client videos. Um, it's so easy. Like if I wasn't like teaching you guys and like showing you guys all every move I was making, um, it would have been a lot easier and faster. Um, but thankfully I was able to show you guys what I was doing or this video wouldn't be a thing. So guys, if you are interested and you are stuck editing videos for your clients and you are just take, it's taking you so long. That's why you're on this video clearly because you know that you're trying to learn how to edit faster and you're trying to learn how to edit Instagram reels. Well, this is the solution, my Motion Tech Pack Pro. Um, it literally was able to edit the video in under 10 minutes. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys wanna know how I do every single one of these effects, then check out my last video because I break down all of these effects that I did. There is no gatekeeping on this channel. So thank you guys for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.